Okay, everyone, I have been challenged to show how we can update resumes very quickly in under 15 minutes. So I'm up for the challenge. There is a feature in Microsoft Word that we're going to use um, kind of a dual feature here called Quick Parts in Auto Text. And I want to show you how you can set these up to tailor your resume very, very quickly. I'm setting my timer now. We have 15 minutes. Let's go. The very first thing I'm going to do is set my page margins because that determines everything. The applicant tracking systems can read anything from a half inch to a 1.5 inch margin, although it is trending that we're going to use um, narrow margins. So we're going to put it at 0.75 all the way around. I've done some pre-work, which I'm going to show you in reverse at the end of this on um, setting up these auto text and quick parts. Uh, but now all I have to do is go to the insert menu over in the text tab. The top icon is quick parts. The very first thing I want is a header. And then I'm going to add my professional summary. And these are in alphabetical order. And um, then after that, I know I want core competencies. I know I need my professional experience. I want to add another job in there. Let's add matrix. Next, I know I'm going to need my, um, my previous work experience. So anything that may be a little bit older than before I was at Matrix. After that, I'm going to add in my technical summary. I'm going to add in my education next. I wanna throw in some volunteer experience. I would like to add memberships and organizations. And then I want to include, I've got volunteer, technical, um, publications. That's a great one to add in. I think that's all of them I want to include. So I've set those up. And then I'm quickly going to go through and add some spacing in between my headers. All right, so this is built in like three minutes, guys. In fact, we're less than um, three minutes into this. And so um, I, I, I do some different things when I'm building a resume as far as spacing. We use half inch spacing, but this kind of gives you a good feel for, we just did this. We built an entire resume in minutes. And so I really want you to explore this feature inside Microsoft Word. Do the uh, work on the front end so that you can build a powerful resume very, very, very quickly and um, it, it really does make a huge difference in your job search. And uh, so here in just a second, let me get the spacing right on this. And I want to show you, um, this is one of our older uh, resume formats, but we really liked it. And um, it, it worked really well to get a bunch of people jobs. So that's even more reason to like it. <laughs> uh, so what I'm doing is we use a half inch space. The reason we do that, I know a lot of people in marketing are probably freaking out right now because we just took away this empty white space. But when you're reading a resume, you're skimming top to bottom, not left to right. So you don't want a bunch of empty white space. It actually unnaturally draws your eyes over to the right side of the screen because we pick up what is different. So with that, I just wanted to kind of show you the back ground for what I want to do. Let's say a job description is requiring a core competency that I don't have here. So maybe I want to switch this out and I'm applying for a recruiting manager position or something like that that doesn't have um, the same, you know, skills that I have listed here. I can go to my auto text and I can um, add in a, a bullet point about process improvement and very quickly just switch these around. I can reorganize them um, and you can build it out using auto text or quick parts. But essentially, if I want to save something individually to a quick part or to auto text, I'm going to highlight it. And in the insert menu, again, I'm over on the right side, I'm using this auto text. So you can either save selection to quick parts or you can save it to auto text gallery. 
And essentially those are functioning the same way. There's some character limitations, but for the most part, um, I use quick parts when I'm doing a chunk of text and I wanna make sure the uh, formatting stays very aligned. Um, and then auto text really works the same way. So I'm not sure why Word has them in two different uh, places, but um, as far as how I use it, it works the same way. So I would save that selection to auto text, for example, which I already have it down here. And remember they're alphabetical. Um, and then uh, if I wanted to insert one or take one away, then I could easily do that. So then I would just save my file and it's absolutely ready to go um, in just literally minutes. Uh, we still have nine minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock and uh, we're ready to go. So this strategy can absolutely transform your job search. I hope it helps you. Let me know in the comments below if this works for you. And I will talk to you really soon. Bye.